Hey everybody, it's Jochen Hyden, and I'm back with the Helsin vs. Hyden campaign, Scenario 2, February 9th, 1942. Okay, looks like we're grabbing a base on Tongu Tapu. Okay, it looks like there's no night bombing, which there usually won't be with this moonlight that low. Oh, here we go. Coming in to bombard Terracan. This is the turn that we're going to attempt to take it. And I am going to do my very best to neutralize this place so that my infantry has a fighting chance to get in. Alright, looks like we did some okay damage there. Um... Coastal gun. Well, at least we didn't hit the oil. I uh, would have preferred that we hit maybe more of the actual, if you know, the other units besides the coastal guns. But whatever, it's, it is what it is. Hopefully that helps a bit. Oh, listen, guys! I know the sub sound. I know it just got interrupted, but listen. That's a sub, guys. We just sank another sub. That's Kido Butai ripping and tearing over there uh, near Fiji. We've done a lot of damage to his subs. Okay, landing on the island of Sumba. Man, that's I love that sound. That's two sunk sub sounds in each day so far. Hopefully we get a couple more. Okay. Air operations proceeding now. Hmm, good. Let's kill some more subs. Yeah. Hmm. Dang it. A lot of canceled missions today. Okay. Overcast over Clunkery, which means that our bombing going in is not going to have great accuracy. Okay, 17 hits on that. Let's see what the uh, Bettys can do. Okay. Bombing Kung Chang here just to make sure that we're suppressing... Uh, suppressing the airfield. And that's great hits. And supply hits are always great. Okay. And bombing these uh, last Indian units here to keep them from leaving the Hex. There we go. I want to kill these guys this turn. Hopefully they don't move out. Okay, I'm just kind of I'm bombing these guys to see what they are. They're fragments. The daily bombing on the Philippines. All right, another raid on Klonkri. Let's hope for a better result than the last one. We had 17 hits in the first one. 23 on that. That's 40 hits. That should give us about 100 strat points if my math is good. OK, 
Okay, AM phase is pretty quiet. Not too much happened there. Oh, good. Let's kill a couple more subs while we're at it. Look like we're going to get much more out of that today. Ooh, clear skies. That should be good. Good. Nice. I want those supply hits. I'm still waiting to see if the B-17s in India attack me. That's what I'm most worried about more than anything else. At some point, he's got to attack, right? Wow. He didn't do anything today. What is he doing in India? That's crazy. He's got so many four-engine bombers. He could clobber me there. I don't understand why he doesn't. Listen. Another sub. <laughs> That's three subs, guys. Three subs and two turns that we've sunk near uh, Fiji. That is awesome. Holy moly. That's three sub sinking sounds in two turns. That's good. All right. I. Oh, what, this is new. What is that? That's new, isn't it? Ugh. I just don't think we're ever going to stop these guys, man. This unit seems new, though. Look at this. The Patiala Lancers. I don't remember seeing them before. Well, regardless, um, we did extract a lot more losses here. But again, he gets away. I just cannot catch up to these guys. I don't think I'll ever kill these units, man. Okay, bombardment attack here. Uh, that's kind of not good. You see that? He's got one unit here. Well, actually, no, that is good. He's cleared out. We may be able to break the supply lanes here next turn. That, this is good. We'll have to talk about this later. Okay, Japanese shock attack at Terracan. I have no idea how this is going to go. I don't think it's going to go very well, honestly. Our bombardment did not go well. Oh, we got it! No way! Yeah! Uh! Oh, dude. We took Terracan on the first attack? That's incredible. And we destroyed all the units because they, no, they have no retreat path, guys. You see that? We captured everything else around it, so now he can't get out. Oh, man. This is a big win for me. Oh, dude. I can't believe that. We captured Terracan, minimal casualties, uh, no ships lost, all the units are taken out. Good, good, good. Okay, and a shock attack here. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's done. So now, we need to continue on. All right, that's good. And Baba U. Excellent. This is a base I've always wanted to have. I'm glad to have it now. Man, this was a super good turn. sink what two subs 
took uh, tear camp with minimal losses. Um, man, I'm liking this. This is really good stuff. Wow, I'm still I'm just surprised about Terracan. Hmm, couple new units there, or respawning unit. Uh, okay, well we'll talk about it. But good turn. Okay, we're back with another great turn for me. <clears throat> Let's take a look at these numbers here. Aircraft loss today still not great, but. Not as bad as it could have been. Four total aircraft loss for us, none for him. Two zeros, one Betty, one Nell. Of those four aircraft, we have two killed pilots. Ugh. For the Army lost points this turn, the Allies lost 114. We lost zero. 48 strat points this turn. I thought there'd be a lot more. For some reason, all those hits we got didn't amount to much, so... 48 strat points only. Ship sunk. Nothing reported this turn. However, we heard two separate sub-sinking sounds. And I think that two more subs in the South Pacific sank because of Kiro Butai ripping and tearing these subs up, which is exactly what I've been using it for just to kind of clear the area. And so far, that's three subs that have been sunk in this area, which is <laughs> big for me. Because I hate subs, so everyone I can clear out of here is, is better. Alright. Looking at the points total for the turn, we gained an additional 310. That brings our win ratio up to 2.996. Another high watermark. We're almost at 3 to 1, guys. It's February, and we're at 3 to 1. I uh, just got a little bit more to go. We'll, have, we'll be in auto victory uh, territory for a while, and we just got to maintain it. It's looking good right now. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at three areas on the map that I want to talk about today. And the first one's going to be here at Terracan, which is a base that I was really kind of reluctant about. I wasn't sure how this was going to go, but it went very, very well. I had two naval guard units that have been crossing from Tanjungsalor for the last, I don't know, two, three weeks to the swamp. And they came in and just tore this place up, right? And I also had a, uh, these ships here were being used as a bombardment force. They didn't really hit what I thought they'd hit, but they seem to have disrupted everything despite it. So we take the base and it does have some damage, right? So it looks like 27 oil, 27 refinery. Oh well, not the end of the world, but there's plenty of fuel here that I can use. Uh, we'll be making 630 oil per day, so I can get a couple tankers coming in and out of there. This is going to be great. We do need to get this damage repaired, though. The refinery, uh, the runway, and the port damage needs to be repaired, so I do need to come up with some engineers to do that. Uh, potentially something out of Balak Poppin, I don't know. I'll have to find some engineers to bring in here. But the bottom line is we have Terracan with extremely low loss, and there's no mines here, which I thought there would be. When you capture base, the detection level is 10 out of 10. So if there are mines, you'd see them. But there's not. So I don't even have to worry about these guys. I can recall them back to... Uh... Ah, we'll just bring them into Balak Poppin or something. No point in even uh, taking them in there to mine sweep mines if there's no mines, right? Alright, the next area I want to talk about is over here in China. So this was a little bit of an unexpected move. Last turn, this collection of units was heading this way. Now, somehow the move arrow disappeared, and they're actually heading this way towards Chang 2, which I did not anticipate. Um, and if we take a look here, I hit the F, the, the 5 key. 
We can see that he did not come here at all or else we wouldn't have supply path. He is moving towards Chang 2. And the good news is that's going to leave my forces guarding this hex safe for the time being. But the bad news is uh, he's moving towards this area. He will take him some time to get here. But now I can't really bomb him very well because now he's in mountain terrain. And my bombing of units in mountain terrain has been pretty lackluster to date. So I don't know how that's going to go. But there is another opportunity here that we trap him in Chang 2 and force him into our big collection of troops. We may be able to punch with these guys because uh, we have way more firepower than these units do. So it may be an opportunity here if he comes into Chang 2. So we'll see. But uh, one thing I do see here is that um, Kanko is completely unguarded. And boy, this would be an amazing opportunity for me to take these troops and move up here and take this base and basically trap the entire Chinese army in here. But I don't think that I'll be able to get up here in time. It would take me at least four days to move into this hex. And I'm sure Helson's done the math and knows that these guys will move in here before I could ever get here. I could maybe try to pair drop in here, but I, it, the second these guys come across the river, it would be a shock attack and he would just wipe out my paratroopers. So it'd be a waste of time. So I don't know if there's any value there doing it. However, um, uh, one thing that, that is happening here is that he continues to shift forces down towards this way, towards the, you know, the Chungking Plain to guard it. And that's okay because one thing I've noticed here is last turn, he screwed up. He left a single unit here on this mountain terrain. And it looks to be very lightly um, uh, protected. So if we take a look at the combat reports here. Let me clear that out of here. In that single hex, is one unit, right? Uh, let me see if I can figure out what's there. Yeah, the 34th Separate Brigade, 77 AV. There is no way we can't not take this next turn. So I'm going to go in this hex south of Kung Cheng. We're going to go for a shock attack supported by aircraft. And I am pretty confident that this division will be able to blast this unit completely out of this hex. Once we do that, that's going to sever the oil getting into uh, Chungking. Because it has to come down this way. And once we take this hex, it's just as good as us taking Kung Cheng. So that will sever the oil going into Chungking and Chengtu. He already has no oil coming in from this way, so that's going to severely limit the heavy industry production there in Chongqing. That's 750 supply a day that won't be able to operate once he burns up the rest of his fuel. And that's kind of a big hit. Uh, and then from there, it's going to be a cascade effect, right? We're going to take Kungcheng, Lanchao. I'll send a single unit up the road here to take all these other bases along the way, right? Uh, maybe one division to do all this work. And we're going to capture every one of these bases here. Oh man, there's a lot of points there. Yeah, I like it. Capture all those bases and I could take this massive force and turn it down. Right? And continue to compress his units and force them all into a final battle here in the Chungking Plain. It's going to start falling like dominoes soon here, guys. I think we've kind of forced them into this position. So I'm liking the way things are looking in this northern part of China right now. This place I want to look at, or the last place for this turn, since we've covered China and Terracan, is we'll take a look at the South Pacific. So again, um, let's turn that off. Uh, Here's what we got. Kido Butai has been over here destroying subs like crazy. And we heard two sinking sounds. We have, I saw a sub here during the replay. And we see one here and one here. We saw about five subs here the other day. Now we see two and maybe one more. We've severely damaged his submarines and, he's, and we're driving him away. Driving him south. 
And that's exactly what I want to do because I'm going to start sending in transports back to Nadi, right? And I'm going to start uh, pulling some of these troops back out because I no longer need them here at Fiji. But I wasn't really excited about doing that with all of his subs uh, just out here potentially preying on my transports as they leave. So I've used Kido Butai to come in here and, and trash up his subs, and it's worked extremely well. And we're forcing his subs away. He's retreating now, hopefully south towards um, New Zealand. And then that will buy me the time I need to get my my uh, transports into Nadi and get the troops out and relocate them without the issues of the subs. And then from there, Kiru Tai already has another mission lined up. I can't say what it is, but it won't be staking around here for too much longer. Uh, once I'm once I feel assured that the sub threat has been neutralized, we'll go ahead and pack her up and head Kirubutai off to the next mission. And again, I'm not going to say what it is because uh, that would be a major OPSEC violation, but uh, the mission has been fulfilled here. I brought Kirubutai into this area um, mainly for the purpose of doing what we just did this turn, which is ripping up subs. And that has, well, one, to cover the invasion of Fiji and two rip up subs and that's been achieved overall guys I'm really loving where we're at look at all this ground we've captured out here we have all of this okay that's a pretty nice perimeter we have basically all of um, we have all of the um, Solomons India uh, Australia's not looking so great but we're on our way of just slowly pulling out of here and retreating back into the Solomons. I never intended to hold Cooktown indefinitely, so that's not a big deal. Dutch East Indies is going right. We're going to be capturing two more bases, and these, the rest of these guys are going to fall soon. Uh, Java, we're down to four bases left, and we've compressed them into the uh, Fortress Bandung, which is fine with me. He can stay there for the whole campaign, as far as I care. It, it's just not worth much at this time. Oh, we're going to be taking Christmas Island. Sumatra is going well in Burma. We are just about uh, into Lashio. And then that's going to fall. And then we're going to start pushing into China from this direction, which is going to be great. And these forces can hopefully join up with these forces over here and use them on Chongqing eventually. India, we're compressing him in this area and working our way around in this part as well. So everything's going good. I'm happy with this so far. I'm not happy with the ship losses and the aircraft losses to date, uh, but that chucked it up to my inexperience and me not doing things right. So I'm taking these lessons learned and using them in my next campaign so that I don't have these same issues. So uh, bottom line is great turn and thanks for watching. Happy Thanksgiving to all you guys who celebrate that. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving in the United States. Enjoy your turkey and your families and I'll catch you guys on the next one.